What is up, guys and girls, cats and dogs, witches and wizards? It is Raging Wolf 54, bringing you guys an Xbox One interview. Well, not interview, but a take on the Xbox One and what I think it's going to be like since they released it. Well, before they release it. Because I want to go on a rant on the Xbox One. Because I think it's a total ripoff and it will make you waste $700 of your life. So while I do the research for it, I am going to let you guys stare at some to the best picture in the world while listening to some of the best music in the world. Please enjoy it. Hope you guys are enjoying that video and this awesome picture here. Find it on Google if you guys want to look it up. Just look at Monkey Butt. Very distracting. Now you gotta keep the viewers in the rest of here. So monkey's butt makes everything even better. Right. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that picture of that monkey's butt. And I'll be more back to you in this video about the monkey's butt later. But I found the research that I was gonna show you guys. On the Xbox One, right here. This is how dumb this is. Just the console design is making me mad. This is the new console. It is a PS box. And yes, it's being recorded on my iPod because I do not have a camera with me. Since a Walmart does not pay that well. Which is why I'm going to be quitting Walmart soon. Unless they fire me and then I have another job to back me up in this. Um, So I won't be out of a job for very long. But yeah, this is the Xbox One that everybody's going to be raging about. Like, yeah, I finally get an Xbox One. I'm better than Sony. You know what? Screw you. If you think you're going to be able to beat Sony just because you came up with the first console first, kind of stupid. But this is what's kind of weird. It says being connected. Well, be connected. That means you can talk to people on Skype while watching a porno. Oh, that's just Star Trek, isn't it? I do not know, but you can watch Skype. Your girlfriend can sit there and call you on Skype. And message you on Skype while you're playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. And you can tell her to shut up because you were playing Black Ops. She knows you're playing Black Ops, so you can tell her to shut up. Just so you guys know, please don't ever do that to your girlfriend because that is a total douchebag maneuver. Alright, so on to the next one that I want to rant about is what is the Xbox One? The Xbox One is here for today, built for tomorrow, which makes it a dumb slogan. But this is what the Xbox One's going to have in it. 8-core processor, which lets, you, which lets you instantly switch between a game and entertainment apps with ease. The HDMI pass-through, connect your cable and satellite box to your Xbox One, and prepare to lift off. It's kind of retarded. Now back to the monkey butt. Um, loaded with memory. It's going to come up with a 500 gigabyte hard drive and 8 gigabyte of RAM. Mmm. That's a lot of pornos you can download. Um, and they are finally getting Blu-ray. Congratulations, Xbox. That's a round of applause for Microsoft because they are finally doing something smart here and getting Blu-ray. Say so they're probably going to be behind Sony again because Sony might be swapping over to Ultraviolet. We never know with Sony because they are masterminds and they are Asian. That is not a racial joke, but I just wanted to throw that in there. But here's the all-new Connect right here. It's even dumber now. If you guys watch the live stream on your Xbox and you have the Kinect hooked up to your Xbox 360 and you watch the Xbox unveiling of the Xbox One on your Xbox 360 with the Kinect and every time they would say the word Xbox, your Kinect will turn on, disconnect you from the live stream and start binging random stuff. Now it's going to start having real motion to where it detects the slightest motion. So basically you can be sitting there wanking it and next thing you know it will start to do it on the app. Your little man, your avatar, will be sitting there wanking it too while you're wanking it. So make sure your Xbox is off. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yes. And the Xbox One has the power to where you just say Xbox on and it will turn on. So if you were having sex in the bedroom and your Xbox is in your bedroom, the next thing you know, you yell out Xbox turn on, it will turn on. Which is kind of a retarded thing because who yells out Xbox turned on in the middle of sex anyway? I know I don't. So, um, the unparalleled precision and comfort of the new controller. Really? New controller? This, like, original. Who the heck does this with their controllers now? I mean, look at... 
Who does that? Who does that? Only Microsoft would come up with something dumber than that. I'm going to compare it to the original Xbox, which came out in 2001 after, well, seven years after the Atari Jaguar went out of business. This is the original Xbox, kids. This is what we used to play on. This is what games were built upon in 2001. Along with the PlayStation. But I'm pretty sure all you kids have had a PlayStation, and now you guys are all wanting to say the Xbox 360 is the best because all your friends have one. This is what the 360 evolved from. So if you think your Xbox 360 is still cool, go back to the Xbox, the original one, and back from 2001 to 2005, and you will see one of the best gaming consoles in the history of gaming consoles besides the PSX. We can go on a rant about this all day, about how awesome the games were back then with Star Wars and Crash Bandicoot on the Xbox and Pac-Man. We cannot forget about Pac-Man. But we are going to go away from this page, and I'm going to let you guys tear the monkey butt again. Just so I can show you guys a brief history of the Xbox. I hope you guys enjoy this. Alright, so this is the original Xbox. Like I said, it was manufactured after the Atari Jaguar went out of business in 1996. And it's the first American ki game console made in America, which is the reason why it's called an American console, was made for the first time since 1996 after the Atari Jaguar went out of business in November 15, 2001. That's where the first Xbox came into play. February 22, 2002 in Japan was when the first Xbox came out. And March 14th, which is the day before my birthday in 2002, it unveiled in Australia and Europe because they are always behind us for some reason. Which makes no sense. But I guess it's because it is an American console. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's, that's, that's about it, guys. Um. I'm going to let you just sit here and look at this awesome thing. But there's one thing I want to go on about, guys. Is the How It Games. I think that's what it is. So while I go away, I'm going to let you guys stare at the monkey butt again. I'll go back to the epic theme song. This is my iPod fell over again. That means it's time to stop staring at the monkey's butt. They quit being perverts about the monkey's butt. I do not know what that's for, but I just saw it on Google, like I said. All right, so this is what's throwing me off. Is it says, all your favorite sports all in one. Who the heck is a fan of the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys? Who are they? Who's fans of the Seattle Seahawks and the Dallas Cowboys? Please leave a comment in the comment box below on which team do you think won this game because I don't know they both pretty much suck um but that's it for this video guys and I'm gonna leave you guys out with another monkey butt here and I hope you guys enjoyed this one especially you perverts just peace out witches wizards cats dogs girls and boys I'm gonna leave you guys out on an ending note here with the guile theme song from the SNES